Hi and welcome to HPA LM Australia YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you how to do exploratory testing with HP Sprinter 11.5. So here we are in HP Sprinter application. We've already connected to ALM and imported a test from ALM into Sprinter. Uh, this imported our test together with the test steps. Okay, we are going to test today on the Mercury Tools application, which is a flight reservation application. And we have some steps that advise you to log into the Mercury Tools, sign in, and then proceed to find flights. Uh, but what we're going to do is get a little bit sidetracked, and we're going to log in with a username that doesn't exist. So we are going to uh, start doing some exploratory testing on the user registration area of this application. Okay, so without further ado, let's click on Run, and Sprinter is going to open up the application for us. Okay, so once Sprinter starts, uh, it minimizes into these tabs that sit around your application. So your application is now in full view. Okay, the steps, they appear as a subtitle or you can pull out a tab that will list all the steps for you, but uh, uh, we find the subtitle is a bit easier to use. Okay, so what we'll do, so it's here, connect to Mercury Tools site. Okay, so this one's passed. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is try to log in. Okay, so I couldn't exactly log in, and this doesn't give me an expected result, but I'm not going to fail this because it's not really an error. Uh, with the application, it's just the test it was expecting the user to already be registered. Okay, so uh, we'll go to the registration form, so now we get sidetracked, and we'll create a new user. Okay, so there's quite a few fields to fill out, so what I'm going to do is utilize the data injection facility here. Okay, so these have some pre-populated data with uh, the data fields mapped to the, my particular fields on the form. Uh, this actually comes from an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so we've loaded this Excel spreadsheet into Sprinter and we can now access the data here. Okay, so we'll try a few scenarios. Um, this one here, we actually purposely, um, for the purpose of demonstration, uh, made this particular credentials already exist in the system, so um, the username already exists. Okay, so I'm going to inject the data into the form. And as you can see, everything populates nicely for me here. Uh, once I click Submit, I get an error. It says username has already been used. Please enter a new name. So I'll pick another name. We'll pick another variation of this. Again, click to inject. Okay. And we get a thank you for registering. And just uh, as a last check, we'll see whether we can sign in. Okay, so um, let me just check what the password there was. Okay. So what we are going to do now is end this run. Okay, and we're going to check our user actions. Okay, so Sprinter has actually recorded all the actions that we've done up to this point. Okay, and as you can see, these look very much like the steps of the test. So, in order, so for example, if I find a defect during the exploratory testing, in order to retest that, I might actually save this as a test or as a set of instructions for someone else to follow or even for myself to follow when I'm retesting this. So what I'm going to do is generate a test out of those user actions that have been recorded. And what I get here is my test step editor. So each of those steps, or each of those actions, has been moved into a step. Okay, I can give this, uh, I can edit the name, so I can say log on 
with non existent username. Okay, this is where we go to the registration form. We might want to remove this step, wait for page to synchronize. This was just something that was recorded as part of a, as, as part of user actions. Okay, make Windows Explorer active so we can delete that. Don't really need that. So all the steps up to here is where we try to enter an existing user. Okay, so what we'll do here is put in an expected result, error message, user already exists. So I'm just quickly editing uh, this uh, test just to make it more, uh, more readable. So we'll remove any synchronization weights and so on. Okay, this is where we register a new user. Okay, and then so when we click on register, user successfully added, and then when we log in, our expected result is so test new user here. Our expected result is login was successful. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of other things we can do. We can add some steps, remove some steps, etc. Edit the fonts, but uh, um, we'll just leave it as is at the moment. Okay, what we are going to do is uh, provide some test details. So, uh, register a new user test. So again, here we can provide the description, same as you would do in ALM. Uh, we've got the mandatory fields that have been set up by the project. Okay, and we save the test. So now Sprinter again connects to ALM and it's loading the test plan tree view for us now. Um, under flight reservation. I'll call it register new user. And now I've got a message that the test has been successfully generated. So if I go into my ALM interface and refresh here, we'll go into the folder where we saved our new test. And you can see register new user is here for the design steps. Here we have all the design steps that we defined in Sprinter. And this concludes our demonstration of exploratory testing with HP Sprinter. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel, HP ALM Australia, and browse through the playlist there showcasing our entire suite of ALM solutions.